everyone welcome to the video series of NAT configuration on checkpoint firewood in last video we saw how we can implement source NAT in case one we try to do a source NAT with the firewall interface IP address then we use one virtual IP address and a proxy app was configured there for that specific virtual IP address so let's see what is there in task 3 and 4 and then we will try to implement that and test based on this assignment so task 3 says publish r1 loopback via ip address 136.1.1.2.1.2 so that traffic from r2 on virtual ip should land on r1 loopback address okay and then also create appropriate security policy so task is for example r2 will be the source from this router we will be initiating a traffic on virtual ip address which is 136.1.1.2.1.2 and that should be destination NAT with R1 loopback address. So the moment I do a ping on 136.1.122.122, response should come back from R1 router, which is 150.1.1.1. So let's try to implement this. I'm again on test machine. First, we will write a security policy. Add rule below and then rule name is r2 hyphen r1 for example source will be r1 ip address or we can specify the subnet here the traffic will be initiated from this subnet then destination will be um, host which is nat hyphen 136 1122.122 ip address is 255 250 and 255 Okay, sorry, it, it is not 255, 136.1.122.122. Perfect. And for example, I want to do a test with Telnet. And I want to do another test with ICMP. Except logging enabled. Now go to NAT rules. Rule number three. Source we know that is 136.1.122.0. Okay, then destination we know that NAT object we have created 136.1.122.122. Source will remain original, but destination will be translated with a new host address which is r1 hyphen 150.1.1 150.1.1.1 perfect okay so we have NAT rule in place we have security policy in place but we need a proxy IP because this is a virtual IP address now go to add 136.1.1.2.1.2 this time interface is ethernet 2 because that, that's the interface which is configured with this subnet so click on save we can see now proxy are pair and go ahead push the policy so lab is a bit slow today it is taking time uh, to push the policy and the response is also slow so let's wait and once policy is pushed r2 I should be able to ping 136.1.1.2.1.2 So as of now there is no response uh, It says destination host unreachable But once the policy is applied I should see response back And that response will actually come from R1 So we will verify the same in policy So let me see Okay, and done. Come back to R2. Now I couldn't, I could not see any response after ICMP sequence 24. Let me stop this, start again, and no response. Mm, remove the filter. Let's see what is happening with this traffic. So that's the one we are trying. Okay. 
that's a very good example here so i'm trying from 136.1.22.12 to 136.1.122.122 and interestingly traffic is getting knotted with 203.1500.102 so go back to dashboard and if you see the same subnet we have in rule number 1 as well and that rule says destination any and it has to be source knotted so that is the reason traffic is not getting knotted with rule number 3 so let me move this rule up so right click I will prefer to do a cut here then right click paste above so we have now rule above which says traffic from this subnet to this IP has to be translated destination added with this IP address let me install the policy again so you need to make sure the order of policies so this is one best example wherein destination uh, was any and that was a top policy in our rule base and traffic was getting knotted with the so with the 203.115.100.102 IP address which is not required in this case the requirement was we need to translate the destination IP address okay so wait for some time and then we can see in the logs so logs in such cases will help you if your traffic is getting knotted with the right IP address or not so you should verify the logs with which IP address traffic is getting knotted hmm. let me stop this and then we have to start it again about to push and here it goes back and interesting no response yes we have response so I'm able to reach 136.1.122.122 and if you see I'm assuming telnet is unable if it is not we will see that but if I do a telnet on this IP address I have welcome to iOS and then R1 login so we are actually on R1 now so go to logs and then we did initiate telnet source says 136.1.122.12 which is R2 physical interface then added IP address 136.1.122.122 destination port 23 source port 33812 and the translated destination this time is 150.1.1.1 so with the help of security policy with the help of NAT policy and with the help of proxy R we are able to do this so problem was rule order in a NAT rule base so you need to make sure which rule should come first and which rule should come at the uh, basically below in the rule base uh, let's see what is the other task now task 4 configure NAT so that RDP traffic on port 10,000 from internet to 203.115.105 should be NATed with 136.1.121.100 so this task says we are on internet initiate traffic on dot 105 IP address and the port number will be 10,000 and that will be knotted with 136.1.21.100 and destination port in this case also will be translated from 10,000 to 3389 so let's implement this uh, dashboard policy create a rule for example terminal server access okay sources I want you guys not to use any in the source free because otherwise that XP machine will be publicly exposed so you need to restrict this access for your IP address how we can do that so go to browser use what is my ip.com and this will show you what is the public IP address currently associated with your internet connection 
So my IP address is this. So I will res restrict the security policy via this IP address only. Okay. So right click, add network object, click on host, mm, internet hyphen the IP address. Sorry. Okay. And then we have IP address. Perfect. So destination is mm, I'm not sure we have created that object or not. 105. Yes, we have 105 address object. So NAT 203.115.105. What traffic is required? We need to allow TCP underscore 10,000 port number 10,000 and action accept logging enabled perfect we have a security policy in place now go to NAT uh, right click add rule above so traffic will come from 103 address internet 103 which we have already created uh, that's the IP address destination will be 105 address source will remain original and destination will be and I would suggest here because the only traffic which we want to do NAT is 10,000 so select the port number as well perfect source will be original destination is this time mm, let's see if we have the object I feel we did not create okay so let's create a one now one host not host basically test machine underscore 136 1 121 100 136 1 okay okay and port this time also needs to be translated from 10,000 to it should be with the name remote desktop protocol okay and if you see it has got 3389 as a port number perfect so we have security policy in place we have NAT policy in place proxy app we have already configured for that IP address now go ahead and install the policy now after this I should be able to access my terminal server using 203.115.100.105 IP address on port 10,000 so let's see if this works uh, now how to do that how to access that MSTSC 203.115.100.105 colon 10,000 so this should trigger the traffic on 10,000 port, traffic should come on firewall and firewall should translate destination IP address as well as destination port number. Uh, let's see if almost done, yes, back to this machine and click on connect. Awesome. So I could see a login prompt. And the moment I will log in here, uh, I will disconnect. Basically, other connection, other session will be disconnected. So I will not do a login here. Let's click on cancel. Back to this machine. If you verify the same in logs, uh, we initiated traffic from internet to public IP address on port 10,000, and then we could see destination IP address was being translated and then destination port was also being translated to 3389 good so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching these videos and I hope you are enjoying this video series from Troika system thank you